to go in with my Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation and this is in the shade F7. I love this applicator because it's so easy to put on. Aw, cute! So I already got my Beauty Blender wet and then I'm going to go ahead and just spray my face with this Hangover. Um, in one primer just because I like my face to be extra dewy. So once I finish blending everything in, I'm going in with my airspun um, loose face powder and I'm just putting this all over my face. You want to be careful of how much you're putting on with this product because you can get flashback. Like James Charles has a name for his and it's Flashback Mary. And that ain't cute, girl, so be careful. Usually after I put that on, I like to go in with my Too Faced um, bronzer with like a big fluffy brush here. This is just one I got from Icing like a long time ago. And I just, I'm going to put it like all over my face. And then moving on to contour, I'm using my shade in light palette by Kat Von D. And I'm going to be going in, I use this middle shade. Okay, so once you finish that, I am going in with the lighter shade now and I'm going to clean it up a little bit. You want it snatched, girl. Next step is my brows. So what I like to use for, lately I've been doing more of a natural brow, so I am just going in with my Gimme Brow by Benefit, and this is in the shade 4.5. And I just put this on my nose. As you can tell, I already did one eye because I had no idea what in the hell I wanted to do with this look. And then I was like, simple's the way to go. So that's what we went with. So the first thing I'm going to be doing, I am using my Too Faced um, Dream Queen palette. And the only colors I'm going to be using out here is Kissmas and then the black for when I do my lashes. And then I also am using um, the Revolution Rose Gold Chocolate Eyeshadow Palette. So this guy right here, and I am only using this pink shade out of there. So that's it. That's all we're using. With those two pink shades, I'm mixing them together. And I'm just putting it everywhere on my crease. My lid. Okay, so once you put that everywhere, I lied to you guys, I'm sorry. I am actually from the Revolution palette. I am going in with that shade right next to the pink. It's like a lighter pink. Hello. And I'm going to take that shade and just put it all over my lid. And then after that, I am going in with my Cargo Cosmetics palette. 
and you know the three shades that aren't there I'm mixing those together whatever's left of them and I'm putting that on my lid then after that I basically just go back and forth doing that until I like the you know pigment and how bright the pink is so I'm probably gonna do that once more with the pink Except this time, instead of putting it on a fluffy brush, I put it on a flat brush so I can really get in there and pack the color on. And then for even more pigment, you know, it the finger always comes in clutch, honestly. Watch. Like, can you guys see that difference? So in the corner there, I used a brush, and then on my lid, I used my finger. Okay, so I'm going in with those same two pink colors and I'm putting that along my bottom. Now I'm taking an angled brush and I'm putting black eyeshadow along my top. I pop my eyelashes on real fast. Okay, so now when I'm waiting for the eyelash to dry, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my face portion of this look. So I'm just wiping off that fake. And then I always go back in with my bronzer and bronze a little bit more because why not? Okay, so now going in with an angled brush, I'm putting black eyeshadow on there and I'm going along my bottom waterline and my top waterline. Okay, so that finishes it for the eyes and now the last step is to do highlights. So I'm taking my ColourPop little palette here and mixing all these shades. Then I'm going in with my Tarte blush in the shade Party. For lipstick, I am using the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip because I've been a glossy person lately, so. All the work to have been dude. Okay guys, so that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want, you can hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you a part of my fam. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.